So we just got this new camera here from Luxonius. That's the new O4 single camera. I also have the dual cameras. We're going to create a bunch of videos with this new camera here. You can run AI models on this small little device. You can see I have it in my hand. We have both a camera and it's pretty much just combining a Jetson device with a camera. We can run update detection, instant segmentation, post estimation models, all these models here, even custom models. So I'm going to show you in ton of videos, we're going to create a, create a whole playlist with how we can use our own custom models. How can we run it on this device here? How can we create a web app around it? So we just have this camera running and we stream the results to our web app. So there's tons of different options. And I also have the dual camera. So stay tuned for that. This is also a pretty large one where we get depth estimation as well. So we can get 3D information about the objects that we're detecting. This is the PoE version. So this is the internet camera. There's also a USB-C version or USB version. All we have to do is plug in the power supply. And we also have the PoE cable here. This is just going directly into my router. You can have a switch router and so on. Just connect to your internet and then you can access it on your Wi-Fi. That's all you have to do. Let's just jump straight into the Oak viewer. And then you can see I'm just moving the camera around here. Let's just turn it around. We can see we have this screen live as a TV. We can turn it around and see myself. We have a person, person detected. We have a chair for this microphone here, but this is pretty cool. We can see the person here in the window. So this is the camera you can see, 30 frames per second camera, 30 frames per second. We have a bit of delay, but this is working very nice. All I did is just hook it up to my router and it's just running this out of the box with the viewer. So we're going to take a bunch of different things. They have like the app store here for different devices. You can adapt to the hub. So you basically like have an UI where you can create different workflows. You can do over the air updates. You can even have your devices, all your devices in one platform that you can control. You can deploy new models to it. You can do operating system updates. You could pretty much just control your whole fleet of cameras. And this is pretty much just if a camera, like a very good camera, let's say the set cameras and the Jetson devices, they have a baby, then we pretty much end up with these cameras. Just again, I'll just show you guys, like I'm just holding it in one hand here, it's doing all the processing in real time. So if we go inside the website, we can go inside the Luxonius documentation. So this is a pretty cool one. Definitely go in and check it out. We're going to cover the cloud software, hardware, you can see all details in here, but now we're just going to have like this introduction video. So if we just go inside their normal website, first of all, it's a pretty cool one as well. This is the brand new cameras that just came out, the Oak 4. It's pretty much just a few days old. So we can do edge inference with our computer vision models. We can have real world data generation. We can set up a full data processing pipeline. So when we have a fleet in the cloud, it can send images back from this camera. So we can retrain our models, deploy the models to our cameras, and then everything is just gonna run there. It's much easier with just one power supply, very small form factor, and it's very robust industrial camera. Very easy to get started with as well. Everything is Python. There's a bunch of OpenCV APIs. We're gonna take a look at all of it, stereo depth with the big, guy here where we have a stereo camera to get neural depth information, but also just the depth map from the two cameras. This is very good in these industries. So this is all the solutions that we can use it for. I'm going to cover it in five, 10 videos. We're going to create a full playlist. This is an introduction to the camera and how we can run it. And then we're going to see all the different tutorials and also how we can run our own models. So if we go inside the cloud, we have this Luxonius hub. We're going to take a look at that. But if we just read more about it, fleet management and monitoring, OTA updates, over the, over the air updates, app management, continuous model improvement. So we can collect data, compile, and then we can redeploy models once we have trained them, logging on and observability, data and video streaming, and custom API integrations. So we can pretty much integrate any software, any APIs together with this camera in the app, but also just with the cloud solution here from Luxonius. What you're seeing here in the key, key capabilities is a production ready system. This is all you need and it's very easy to get up and running with both the API and deploy your own custom solutions. You can even have your own business logic running on top of the camera. So you extract the results from your detection models. You apply the business logic there. And then all you have to do is just send the results to your cloud and you can use them in your web app. 
So this is pretty cool, but we're not going to focus on that in this video. We're just covering some of the cool stuff that we can do. Here we see some of the APIs, integrations. Let's go inside this software documentation. There's also a ton of hardware documentation just on all the different hardware configurations, specifications with the depth maps. We have the rolling global shutter here for the camera settings. We have auto fixed focus, and this is the USB version, PoE version. This is pretty cool. IP rating is also very important. Industrial applications, you can do deployments with Raspberry Pis, Jetsons, Rock Pi, depth accuracy, stereo depth, and so on. So if you just take a look at depth accuracy, you get a very good, pretty much just a good high level overview. Let's see what this is. So this is the specification. This is the error. So we can see the depth error on the Y axis, and then we have the distance to the noise pattern target. So we can see the further we are away, the larger the error will be. But if we are like three, five meters away from our objects, we act like only get a error percentage of around one, two percent. So this is very, very accurate depth values. So you can see here 1.5 absolute depth error for below four meters. And most applications where we need it, it's definitely below four meters. We can accept a higher error for longer distances. So you can go and take a look at all this. This is very easy to just skim through, figure out what is the accuracy, what, what can you use for your applications. And inside our software stack, we have the Luxonis OS. They have a bunch of different examples, depth AI components, advanced tutorials, API references. And what we're going to take a look at is some of the integrations as well. So they act like integrated with the NVIDIA Tau model. So all, Invi all the NVIDIA models that they have out of the box from the Tau framework, you can convert and integrate them directly on the camera. Roboflow, leveraged models trained with Roboflow. So you can set up your full data set, train the models with Roboflow and deploy them on your camera. And then you can have your fleet management with the Luxonis cloud. Autolytics, you guys are familiar with that one. We're going to deploy some YOLO 11 models on this new little guy. So take a look at, for example, Autolytics. All we have to do is just export it into ONNX, TensorRT or OpenVINO. That's all we have to do. And then we need to do some conversions, RVC conversion, and then it will be able to deploy to the device. We're going to cover this fully in another video, but the documentation here is very easy to go through. If we take a look at some of the examples, so this is very easy. If you have the template app, for example, this is the structure, we have an app, then we have our, um, we pretty much just have our app, and then we also have an, an TOM file that can specify how our build should be deployed or pretty much just our container. So all we have to do, pip install depth AI. This is what we're using from Luxonius. We get clone the old template, we see the into it, we pip install the requirements, and then we'll have our TOM file for the old app. This is just specifying how is it going to build the app and deploy it. We have the requirements file. You can have your own other like files. Everything can be down in here. And then we have our main Python script, which is gonna be deployed. So this is where your main logic resides, but you can do all different imports, all the business logic that you want. You can get it inside your main loop. Here it has some examples, both to get the camera, neural net, but also the hub. So it's connected to the hub to get out the full pipeline. You can also just get the camera screen, or if you want to get the depth map. So let's take a look at it here. All we have to do is just open up the, our device in our pipeline, as our pipeline, it's gonna create the pipeline, set up a platform, and then from our YAML, File, we have a configuration for the YOLO model. So depending on what model that we're going to use and they have examples for all the other different models. So you can just copy paste and pretty much just replace this part. So then we have an NN archive, get model from Sue. We have the model description and we have our NN archive. The input node, gonna be a camera. We build it, the pipeline, neural network with parser. So we're going to create our passing neural network and we're just gonna build our pipeline that we can then feed our images into. So then we can start the pipeline. So after it has been created here, you just define what do you want in your pipeline? What are the different steps? This is also where you would apply your own business logic. Then we can start a pipeline, register a pipeline. And then while the pipeline is running, we can just grab the frames in here, for example, or whatever we want. So that could be the camera stream here running inside. We have the depth map. So here they have all the examples that you can take a look at. Then we have the Oak app TOM file. So this is, as I mentioned, this is where you build the process for your container. And this is just how they deploy it. If you have it in this format, 
that's all you have to do. You're just gonna run this Python script on the device with the models, as long as they're in the correct format. Then to deploy it and run it, oak ctl app run dot, and then it's pretty much just gonna containerize your application and deploy it to the oak device. Then you can wrap it together, connect multiple devices, have the cloud system set up for your monitoring, your fleet management and all that. And then you can view the results on your host IP on port 8082. This is all you have to do to get started. If you go inside the Luxonius app again, Luxonius app here again, we can adopt to hub. So we can set up the device via hub and then it will pretty much just do all the things that we're doing in here. They also have a pipeline graph where you can specify what inputs, outputs, where you want to connect and so on. So this is also a pretty cool one. You can swap out the model if you want. So right now you can have the Midas model, the Yolo V6 Nano, Unit, Post Estimation model. You can even just click here, set the neural network. And we want to set this as the active neural network. We hit confirm. It's going to do a few, few blinks on the camera. You can specify the confidence score threshold in the section over union threshold. And if we go back here to our device again, we now have our key point post model deployed. So now we've pretty much just swapped out the model. This is still running in real time, but look at how awesome this is. This is how we can swap out the models. And you can even just have your own custom models in here if you have multiple cameras connected to a switch. You just need a switch that's hooked up to your internet plug all the Ethernet cables in and you're good to go. So this is how easy it is to swap it out. YOLO V8 Nanopose running real time. Here, we, this is the YOLO world model where you can just prompt whatever you want to detect. There we go. So now we have the YOLO world model running. We have a person. So what can we, what can, what can we, what can we add here? Let's maybe just say microphone. Let's see if it picks up this microphone. We can add the class because this this model here pretty much just takes in a prompt. So we act like this, it takes this little part here as a microphone. Maybe if I take it a bit further away, it still just gets this microphone. So it could be, for example, we can delete the person, then it's gonna delete that. This is just a prompt based model. I have videos covering the YOLO world model already, but this is very awesome. We also have the Midas V2 if you're just running it on a single one, but if you really need depth information, definitely go with the big guy here, where you get two cameras, you get some infrared stuff and so on as well. They have the neural depth, they also just have the depth models. Um, this is running real, real time Midas model, but this is only relative depth. So you can see the, the colors of a microphone is changing based on where my hand is, even though the microphone is not changing the distance. This is, this is so cool. I'm going to create so many videos about it. I've not seen anything that can be used so easily. And on the channel, I cover how to apply the business logic, how to build the apps, how to train all the models, how to ge generate your data. Now we have the full end-to-end -end pipeline. This is the hardest part. Like all the model training, all the other stuff is 20% of it. Usually 80% of it is the deployment, monitoring of the models, figuring out why is it not working, dealing with hardware and all that stuff, dependencies. Now we can just deploy it and then we can focus on making the best real world applications. They have the app store we can take a look at. We can add that to the hub. They also have some advanced stuff here. This is gonna be much cooler when we run it on the dual camera. This is awesome guys. Stay tuned for the other video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and check the cameras out. Stay tuned for the next videos in the playlist. Like and subscribe to the channel so you know when I upload those videos. I'm pretty mind blown by a small camera this size here can run the same infrared speed as pretty much a Jetson device. You don't have to deal with any setup, deploy it, run it, just hook it up to your router and you have a computer vision model deployed. You can put it into production. Hope you learned a ton. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I'm gonna be so excited for the custom Yolo V8 model. So excited for the upcoming videos, custom Yolo 11 models, build web apps around this camera, deploy them, have the multiple cameras connected at the same time. Stay tuned for those. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.